Did I tell you this is going to be a thrilling game between the Toronto Raptors and the Washington Wizards or what? The series was tied at 33, but the Raptors, well, they bounced back to victory after losing two straight. The Wizards, on the other hand, well, let me just say they have improved since their 4-28 start. Ever since John Wall came into the lineup, things have definitely been different. But on this night, it was slip sliding and missed rebounds to free throws to even transition buckets. So how did the Raptors prevail, you wonder? Well, how about Jonas Valanciunas? This guy's stat line was impressive. He had a career-high 24 points, and he was 16 of 18 from the free throw line. Now, the guy that impressed me the most last night was Quincy AC. The rookie was stealing a page or two from Amir Johnson's books. He definitely did have significant improvements since being in the D-League. He was grabbing buckets and even in transition, throwing up lob passes to his teammates. In the second quarter, though, it did look like the Toronto Raptors' energy had leveled off. But... In the third, it was all Raptors all day long. I guess good things happen when John Wall doesn't get touches from the Washington Wizards. Get this, in the third quarter, because they weren't getting touches from John Wall, the Wizards were only shooting 19%. The Raptors, on the other hand, they decided to take advantage. After being down by 15 points, DeMar DeRozan was finding the lane, getting contact, and getting to the free throw line. I'm impressed with what he has been able to do this season, driving to the lane. So the Raptors are mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. And here's how Kyle Lowry sums up how the rest of the season will have to go. One, be professional. Two, take pride in this team. And three, this is your team. So definitely go out there and just try to win. John Wall and the Washington Wizards are also eliminated from the playoffs. But their goal to finish off the season is to finish in ninth spot. They gave up too many games, and they all know this. Up next for the Toronto Raptors, they try to keep this win streak alive as they meet Ricky Rubio and the Minnesota Timberwolves in Minnesota. Until next time from Inside the Purple Room, I'm Pyle, and I will see you again. Take care.